All right, guys, been doing a bit of shopping for some valeting uh, materials. So first off, I was getting some uh, carpet shampoo. Yeah, plenty of that. Buy bulk, you buy cheap. Uh, discounts, etc. So I used to use that rug doctor stuff, which was all right. Um, it's the stuff you get when you hire the like uh, carpet machines from the likes of B&Q and stuff from the DIY stores. But I've got my own. So, uh, yeah, see... See what this turns out like. You can only but try. Uh, let's start on this side first. Well, we've got this one here, which is super shine plastic dressing, which is in essence me silicon spray. Uh, so that's for doing the dash and all the plastic stuff. Uh, I'll also use that for the tyres as well. Uh, see what that comes up like. Uh, Bright wheels. So it's a non acidic um, cleaner for. Um, yeah, alloy wheels yeah a lot of soap one to two minutes it's a dilution ratio so um yeah for heavy soiling one part product three parts water so if that's any good that'll last quite a while yeah on a one in three mix it's basically what 15 liters i'll have yeah, and then there's this stuff which is the snow foam yeah, it's got a 25 liter tub of that uh, again, if, you know, you, you, for the one litre tubs, you just pay like a, a fortune. Oh, there's a bin just blew over. Uh, yeah, you pay a fortune. So, again, buy bulk, buy cheap, 25 litres there. And then I needed an actual snow foam gun. So I've got one here. This was actually for a karcher, a uh, pressure washer. However, I took the fitting off and I had a spare spigot that will fit my pressure washer uh, handle uh, for my Earl. So I'm going to have a go at this one and see if it actually works. See what it comes out like. Uh, snow foam, great stuff if you haven't seen it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You buy, you can buy the snow foam uh, like uh, in a bottle, and it basically comes with its own snow foam cap. But it's basically a one-time use, um, and you've got to connect it up to your garden hose. Uh, so this will be able to connect straight onto my uh, power hose. So I'll just uh, connect this snow foam it, leave the snow foam for like uh, five minutes or so for it to soak into the dirt, and then s swap this for my pressure washer lance, and then. Uh, wash it off so that'll be the next video i'll get this filled up uh, and then uh, connect it up and we'll see how it goes dilly dilly right let's see how we get on Fantastic. I mean, literally, you see how much I've used. Hardly any. 20, I've got 25 litre tub. So you just got to let it all, um, yeah, just soak in. That is brilliant, man. What a godsend. See, it's gone wrong with the brush and everything. That'll just soak in nicely, that. Right, we'll have a look at the results once it's uh, soaked for a bit, dilly dilly. Right, so it's soaked in a while. Yeah, so we can see all the, uh, the dirt on here. So what I'm gonna do now is just get the power wash. Just give it a power wash without brushing it. And uh, see how it fares. Marks up here as well. 
and that will be the test out to see if it actually um, shifts it yeah I mean it's all it's hard to see on the video but it's all dirt at the back there as well right so we'll um, so we'll get on with that dilly dilly still dirty so I've um, I've done the power wash still dirty so I'm gonna reform it again now and then use the brush Yeah, I didn't have the um, the dial up the right way, so it wasn't the right mix. I mean, that's formed up that like. I mean, it did use a bit there, like, but uh, happy days. Right again, I'll just I'll leave that now because it's more form, and then uh, I'll see how that fares up shifting the dirt. It might be I go over with the lance first with hot water, yeah, uh, just to give it um, you know take all the crap off and give it some heat and make it wet and then form it leave it and then rinse it off after maybe that could be the sequence i'll see what happens after this one if it cleans it after this and that, that'll be the sequence for it dilly dilly right rinse again bit better but still dirty so it'll be a rinse job with the lance then foam and then agitate with the brush and then rinse off still good stuff dilly dilly yes yeah, so happy with that snow foam like it's uh, it's good for all it doesn't exactly get it clean like it's not just a you know spray it on and then rinse it off and that's it like um however what i thought i could possibly mix uh tfr with it so if i don't like it uh, i don't know 25 75 mix uh 25 of uh, tfr so basically a one in three mix one part tfr three parts snow foam then so that guns because with with the TFR being mixed in with the foam, at least the TFR will have a chance to cling to to the uh, paintwork and start dissolving this uh, dirt. It's not the end of the world because um, you know just getting the foam on is good enough, and then I can go over with a brush. Because before I used to have to like fill shampoo in a bucket, and the shampoo doesn't last long here uh, when you get it in like little one liter bottles. So at least the snow foam like actually. I mean, it goes a long way, as you've seen. For that first bit I put on, it didn't hardly use any. I covered the whole car. Uh, so definitely a cost-effective solution. Uh, and, a, and a bit quicker as well. Don't have to muck about with buckets and whatnot. It's just changing the adapters over. Anyway, that's uh, that's my thoughts. So I'll get some TFR, and uh, I'll have a try of that. Um, yeah, so when I get it, I'll do another vid. And we'll see how we get on. Dilly dilly. Right, so next thing to try is this um, bright wheel stuff. Yeah, so it says one part to three parts water for heavy soiling. Mm, I've probably done it um, half and half. However, so we'll just spray it on. See what happens. I mean, you can see on that, it's kind of pitted stuff, that, like. Yeah. Get it lashed on. So, we've just got to leave it on there. So, okay, you can agitate it again with a brush or anything. 
which I'll probably need to do but I just want to see uh, what effect it has just uh, in its raw state we shall see all I'm gonna do is uh, blast it off with the uh, jet wash I'll pull the car back out obviously <coughs> right there we go leave that to soak see what happens dilly dilly right well that wheel cleaner's uh, doing its bit um, absorption let's try this then super shine plastic dressing so it even comes with its own uh, little valet uh, sprayer so I'll get this bad boy topped up let's have a go at that see what happens with the dash dilly dilly tell you what smells nice smells like bubble gum uh, right let's give her a blast yeah, I've got me a uh, me rag. So we'll see what it comes up like. Yeah, on. I do a bit like you can see. Oh, uh, turn the nozzle on. No uh, basics. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that, man. Eh? That's full on silicon shine, that like. It'll probably dull down a little bit. But... Oh, that is um, spot on. See, it's given it a good. But it has given it a shine, that like. Obviously, when you spray it on, just. Um, Oh, that's it see i would just spray that on i would just let it soak um ah uh, that's the stuff like yeah just let that soak like leave as it is that's uh magic stuff i'll just let it dry a bit and then uh, give it a bit of a buff with this um, just cleaned off the window. That's why you clean the windows last. Yeah. I'll get the torch on it, like. So you can see it's like a really deep shine there. So I'll say I'll just let it um, dry off a bit and then see what it's like after that. But I looking uh, looking good so far, dilly dilly. Oh, this stuff is awesome, man. I mean, next time you're in the supermarket, have a look at the car bits. And you see that, um, you know, your stuff called Flash Dash and Dash Spray and whatever else. Costs a fortune. And uh, this stuff, you know, sort of commercial stuff, going to last for ages. And it's absolutely the bee's knees. I mean that plastic looks brand new Gleaming it is, gleaming I mean look at that, that's just like a professional finish aren't they? Um, leave it on You can take the excess off Once it's dried on a bit And uh, seriously, it's um top-notch stuff that like I would definitely buy that again without a doubt phenomenal I mean just to show you how good it is I'm gonna um, drop the boot I'll pull the car outside and I'm gonna do that uh, do the dash dilly dilly right here we go guys um, so here we have the dash steering wheel center console about to get shined up like
Aye, we well, yeah, aye. Tell you what, guys. It doesn't get much better than that, like. Let that dry a bit. Wipe the excess off. Be spot on. Absolutely spot on. You just start getting carried away and all that's all. But I'll need to do it anyway, so. I mean, look at that, man. And see, once it dries in a bit, you tap the excess off. It, uh, be ideal. Right, hey, dilly dilly. Right, guys, I've given it uh, a rub down after it's dried a bit. So it takes the initial high gloss off, but it leaves a what a sheen on that now. Um, it's fantastic, and it, you can overlay it onto the window. And it just wipes off, no bother, it doesn't leave any streaks or anything. So you can just, you know, just lash it on, go liberal with it everywhere. Um, yeah, so it's um, absolutely spot on. Brings it up a treat. Really happy with that stuff. Um, yeah, Phew. oh my. Just what you need when you're doing uh, quick valeting. You just need it to be quick, simple, and have a good effect. Smells fantastic as well. Ah, dilly dilly. Dilly what, guys? Winner, winner, chicken dinner, all over, really. Oh, have a look at these alloys. You can see bits where I hadn't sprayed, how bad they were. So I'll re spray them bits. But look at the bits that uh, it did uh, adhere to. Absolutely. Spot on. So that, for all it's not acidic, that's good stuff. And that was diluted. Now on this one it has took off the actual um, paint. Don't know if you can see that. It's took the, the whole lacquer off. Yeah, Brad, I think that's down to the actual um, alloy being that old rather than this stuff taking it off must have been a uh, sort of bled or something um, yeah so I'm not too fussed the main thing is that stuff works a treat so I've just got some more little bits to do on that let it soak again yeah and that's it so all in all very happy uh, with me purchases up to now so that's snow foam, 25 litres. And just to show you guys, bearing in mind, I think I, I must have covered that twice or three times. Look how much is left still. That's all I've used. Yeah, let's get this down. That's all I used out that snow foam. And I must have covered it three times, the car. And that is it. And I've got 25 litres of the stuff. But, uh, hey ho, so what they say. Uh, we've tried uh, the silicon, yeah, five litres, and again that is still up to, I don't know because it's not see-through, but uh, I've still got loads left in that bottle. I lazily have four and a half litres left of that. Uh, bright wheels, again we've just seen the results of that. Um, absolutely spot on, I think for my alloys on my car, I'll just use a, um, a five-in-one mix, which will uh, be suffice, I'm sure. The carpet shampoo we haven't trialled yet. But, um, yeah, so the results are good. It's, uh, it's a happy valeting for my bit uh, cars that I get in. It's making my life a bit easier. As I say, guys, just buy in bulk, and I'd happily buy this stuff again. Dilly-dilly.